Top 20 Contemporary Video Artists You Should Know in 2020 20 Tabitha Rezari's cross-dimensional practice incorporates videos and digital works which use art as a means to unfold the soul. Using screen interfaces and collective offerings, her work is rooted in time spaces where technology and spirituality intersect as fertile ground to nourish visions of connection and emancipation. 19. Jonatas de Andrade works with installation, photo researchers, and video to traverse collective memory and history, making use of strategies that shuffle fiction and reality. His work often explores constructs of love and processes of urbanization, with particular emphasis on the geography and culture surrounding Recife, the city in the northeast region of Brazil in which he lives and works. 18. Liu Yang creates provocative and imaginative works that interrogate what it means to be human in the 21st century. Liu's videos, sculptures, and installations investigate how neuroscience, medical and digital technology, and the internet are changing society. Her output spans 3D animated films, video game-like installations, holograms, neon, VR and even software manipulation, often with overt Japanese manga and anime references. Music, electronic and always frenzied, features prominently. 17. Laure Prevot is a French artist known for her immersive and mixed-media installations that combine film and installation in humorous and idiosyncratic ways, Prevot's work addresses miscommunication and things getting lost in translation. She combines existing and imagined personal memories with artistic and literary references to create complex film installations that twist fiction and reality. 16. Bani Abidi is a Pakistani artist working with video, photography and drawing, making works that draw on both everyday and historical events to explore issues of nationalism and state power. She is known for her use of humor as a way of negotiating realities that are often difficult and absurd, they attempt to empower herself and others by means of tools with which authority can be dethroned and ridiculed. 15. John Rathman is an artist, filmmaker, and essayist. His work centers around the emotional, social and existential impact of technology on contemporary life. Much of his work focuses on melancholy in modern social interactions, communities and virtual realities. His videos and art utilize personal moments intended to reveal how pop culture ephemera and subcultures shape individual desires, and will often define those individuals in return. 14. Sandra Perry is an interdisciplinary artist who works with video, computer-based media, and performance. Her work explores themes of race, identity, family history, and technology. Often taking her own life as a point of departure, she makes works that revolve specifically around black American experiences and the ways in which technology and identities are entangled. Thirteen. Mika Rottenberg is an Argentine video artist who lives and works in New York City. Rottenberg is best known for her surreal video and installation work that often deals with the subject of female labor. Exploring the seduction, magic, 
and desperation of our hypercapitalist, globally connected reality, Mika Rottenberg's elaborate visual narratives draw on cinematic and sculptural traditions to forge a new language. Twelve. Jonna Comfrey is an artist and filmmaker, whose works are characterized by their investigations into memory, post-colonialism, temporality and aesthetics and often explores the experiences of migrant diasporas globally. Comfrey was a founding member of the influential Black Audio Film Collective, which started in London in 1982 alongside the artists David Lawson and Lena Gapal, who he still collaborates with today. Eleven. Whatever comes next. Agnish Kapolska creates video works employing computer-generated media and found material, such as archive photography and illustrations. These often melancholic works attempt to describe the overwhelming ethical ambiguity of our time by poetic means, and are positioned in an intricate relationship between language science and history, in order to focus on individual and social responsibility. Ten. We are able to identify her dark hair scarf, white coat, and jeans. Forensic Architecture is a multidisciplinary research group based at Goldsmiths University of London, that undertake advanced spatial and media investigations into cases of state violence and violations of human rights around the world. They work with and on behalf of affected communities and routinely in partnership with international prosecutors, human rights organizations and political and environmental justice groups. Nine. Martin Sims uses a combination of video, installation and performance to examine representations of blackness, often interwoven with explorations into technique and narrative. Using a mix of conceptual grit, humor and social commentary, Sim's work inspects performed or imposed identities, the power of the gesture, and embedded assumptions concerning gender and racial inequalities. Eight. Khalil Joseph is an American filmmaker, music video director, and video artist, known for creating intellectually and emotionally dense films centering on the experience of African Americans in the United States. Blurring the distinctions between music video, art house film, and new media art, Joseph's work disorders and reimagines the depiction of race in film and media. 7. Wu Sang is a filmmaker, artist and performer whose work is concerned with hidden histories, marginalized narratives, and the act of performing itself. Often working collaboratively, she combines documentary and narrative techniques with text, image, dance, music, and activism to create hybrid art forms that reimagine traditional concepts of racialized and gendered representation. Six. There are four ways to make something invisible. Peter Starrell is a German filmmaker, visual artist, writer, and innovator of the essay documentary. Her principal topics of interest are media, technology, and the global circulation of images. Her work also concerns topics of militarization, surveillance, migration and the role of media in globalization. Her work is developed from research, interviews, and the collection of found images, culminating in pedagogically oriented work that references both forensic documentary and dreamlike montage. It measures the visibility of a picture. 5.
Ed Atkins creates filmic and text-based work that consider the relationship between the corporeal and the digital, the ordinary and the uncanny, through high-definition computer-generated animations. Atkins' works often track forms of feeling, living, and communicating hidden behind or curtailed by technological representation and how they variously exceed or fail in their attempt to sufficiently capture us. Four. Chow Fei's work, which includes video, performance, and digital media, examines the daily life of Chinese citizens born after the Cultural Revolution. With a blend of influences including surrealism, video games, pop culture, and documentary films, Chow Fei activates the gulf between fantasy and reality and explores the rapid and chaotic changes to her everyday environment since the advent of China's high economic growth, urban development, and rapid globalization. Three. Sophia Almeria is a Qatari-American artist, writer and filmmaker. Much of her work stems from personal experiences, she uses issues of gender and place as platforms for explorations of the climate of independent filmmaking and the relationship between public space and hegemonic systems such as advertising. The work is often situated around the idea of Gulf Futurism, a concept describing what Almeria sees as the dystopian social and aesthetic tendencies that characterize the rapidly developing Persian Gulf region. Kora Kritaran Anonshai is a video and multimedia artist originally from Bangkok, Thailand. Aran Anonshai creates performative paintings, videos, and installations, often making connections between the history of Western painting and art's current context in his home country. Exploring subjects such as history, authenticity, self-representation, and tourism, he also often uses denim across these mediums as a signifier of the importation and appropriation of Western culture across the globe. One. Arthur Jaffa is an artist, filmmaker and cinematographer whose work juxtaposes images from different contexts times and historical backgrounds that reference and question the universal and specific articulations of black being. The 2019 recipient of the Golden Lion for the best participant of the 58th Venice Biennale, his work makes extensive use of sampling, using source materials ranging from historical images, excerpts from documentaries, amateur and viral footage and music videos.